Yo, I'm not even gonna lie right now, man. That Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra is looking like it may actually take the number one spot in my pocket. And the number one spot in my pocket is the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So let's go ahead and get into it. Yo, what's going on YouTube? Technically T, yep, man, the tech dude with the do-rag on. I know, I know you're gonna say it out there. Yes, I have a different color do-rag on. I know a lot of you was just like, yo, when you gonna switch it up, get rid of the black do-rag. I have a whole drawer full of color do-rags, but but you know, it doesn't really match the merch, man. It doesn't really match the merch. So I need to go ahead and order some new merch to match the do-rags. But right now, you might see some mismatching going on, but I can do that. I'm gonna take the do-rag on. But anyway, man, I'm pretty sure everybody by now, cause it's been all over the internet, you know everything about the Samsung Galaxy S20 series. I know you know about them. I know you know about the pricing. You know about that Galaxy Z Flip that I care nothing about. But I'm pretty sure everybody knows everything that you need to know of the S20. Now me, myself, in the beginning, I really wasn't gonna order, and it's strange, man, because we knew everything about this series. We knew the leaks, it's just been probably one of the most leaked devices out there ever. But for some reason, I was still excited when the keynote came on. I don't know if it's because that's that first big keynote of the year, so it was something that was exciting to see, but I don't know, I just was excited to see the Samsung keynote. And within that excitement, the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra really grabbed my attention. Now in the beginning, I'm gonna be real with you. I really wasn't interested in the Ultra at all. I really wasn't interested in the S20, period. But everybody on YouTube, everybody on Twitter, you know I was saying it depends on what the trade-in value is looking like. Now, they have a great trade-in value, and I'm going to talk about that in a new video about what device I'm getting rid of in order to get the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. But I'm pretty sure that's the device is the one I'm going to go with. Now, I know a lot of people are really just bashing the S20. They're bashing the price, especially the Ultra. The, the price and is it going to have these features? And yes, I made a video talking about specs don't matter. Now, I wasn't bashing the device because it hasn't even been out yet. I wasn't doing that. But what I was telling you was don't get caught up by the numbers on paper because when it's it, when it's output in the real world, it may not perform. I want the device to perform. That's the reason why I'm thinking about getting the S20 Ultra because I wanna see what it can really do. So I'm pretty sure you're probably like, but how is it gonna take over your actually number one spot of being the number one phone in your pocket? So if you know me, man, you know I carry two phones. I'm always gonna have an Android and I'm always gonna have an iPhone with me. Usually it's my 11 Pro Max and my Note 10 Plus. And I'm gonna be real with you, I gravitate mostly for communication my iPhone, we're talking about texting, we're talking about iMessage, we're talking about FaceTime. Those Apple services I use on the Apple devices as everybody does out there. But on the flip side, what I do more on the phone is being on Twitter, interacting with you guys, replying to my YouTube con you know, you know, my comments, sending emails, um, watching content, watching some of my friends stream on Twitch. I do all of that on my Android device. And just recently, I realized that when you use an iPhone for a very long time, you get really complacent, you get real comfortable, and you really lose, I feel like you lose that love of tech when you actually use an iPhone. Now, yes, there is good technology in the iPhone, don't get me twisted, but when I pick up a Samsung device or any Android device, whether it be a OnePlus, whether it be a Pixel, an LG, no matter what it is, it's an excitement that comes over me to think this is real technology. This is the reason why I started this. This is a complete device that does everything that I needed to do right here in this tiny little package. And looking at this S20 Ultra, I don't know, man. The hype bug really has me going right now. I really feel that this device could be the one that just pulls me away from the iOS ecosystem. Now, you guys know I'm super deep in the ecosystem. I have the iMac, I got the Apple Watch, I got the AirPods, and it's not gonna be too much expensive. It's not gonna cost that much to dive into the Samsung side because for one, I get the Galaxy Buzz, I think, free. When you pre-order, you get credit and all types of deal like that. And then all I gotta do is go out there and buy a, a, a Galaxy watch and this is not even that expensive and then boom. I'm in the whole ecosystem. I'm tied just like I'm tied when it comes to the Apple and iOS. So I don't know, man. I don't know. This is a tough decision. I just really, really lately have been just gravitating towards Samsung. And with them bringing that 6.9 inch, that camera, which I hope, I really hope that it can deliver the video, everything about that camera and just about that device. If it delivers on paper, because they delivered when it came to the S10, they delivered when it came to the Note 10 Plus, but you're talking about a device that's better than a Note 10 Plus? They really, the ball is in their court to really make this device the, the, the ultimate device. And I'm really hoping that's where it is. That's why I'm going for the Ultra. But I'm gonna be real with you. iOS right now is starting to look like the red because even though that ecosystem is undefeated, my true love of technology and when I use an Android device just really grabs me. I don't feel that anymore 
when it comes to an iPhone. So y'all let me know out there, man. Are you picking up the S20 series? Is anybody out there like me? Now, I'm pretty sure most people are going to say, no, I'm iPhone forever. I'm never getting rid of iOS. But on the flip side, and I know my man Tech King Mike feels the same way. When you pick up a Samsung device, you just get that certain thing that you just love. No matter what I message or anything you're trying to send, you just don't get that when it comes to an iPhone, man. But technically, T, I'm about to get up out of here, man. Let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. And we got some future videos coming out about what device I order and different things like that. So be sure to stay tuned to the channel when you already know. Smash that sub button if you rock with your boy. But until next time, later.